Abadal Kumar sharing with you questions which my subscribers need help with. Let me first thank them for excellent choice of questions and I hope the solution of these questions will really help many others. We are working on derivatives of rate of change. That's the application. At noon, ship A is 170 kilometers west of ship B. Ship A is sailing east at 40 kilometers per hour and ship B is sailing north at 30 kilometers per hour. How fast is the distance between the ships changing at 4 p.m.? So first thing is, let us sketch and understand the situation, right? So let us say we have north in this direction. Ship A is 170 kilometers west of ship B. So let me take A here, which is west of B. Let's say B is here. So B is on the east side. Distance between the two is 170 kilometers. 170. Is it okay? Now it says ship A is sailing east 40 kilometers per hour. So so it's moving east. Let's say it has moved like this in this direction. So the distance moved will be 40 t. So in time t, this moves a distance of 40 t. Okay. Ship B is sailing north at 30 kilometers per hour. Let's say B in the same time moves to this point. Okay. So this distance since the speed is 30, is going to be 30 times time t. How fast is the distance between the ships changing? Well, the distance between the ships will be this at any instance of time t, correct? So that is kind of the position for us. Now we need to find how fast is this distance changing at 4 p.m. That is, it started at noon. And at 4 p.m., that means change in time is 4 hours. Is it okay? Right. So let's see what we are given. We are given ship A is moving 170 kilometers west in this direction. Oh, sorry. Ship A is 170 kilometers west of ship B. So the total distance here between these two is 170. Now ship A is sailing east 40 kilometers. So the distance remaining will be how much? 170 minus 40 T. So this distance, which is kind of here, will be 170 minus 40 T. Is it okay? So let me call this position as, let's say P and Q. Okay. So, so P and B distances 170 minus 40 T. Since out of 170, it has already covered 40 t distance. Ship B is sailing 30 kilometers per hour north. How fast is the distance changing? Let me call this distance PQ as X. Okay. Now, how is X related with these distances? We can say PQ, which is uh, X, is equals to square root of, since this is a right triangle, 30t whole square plus this distance which is 170 minus 40t whole square right so that becomes x for us now what we need to find is dx dt right so we need to find dx dt rate of change of this distance perfect Now, let's find the derivative. This is a square root function, so we get half. We are differentiating uh, with respect to time t, right? Right. Okay. So it is half of all this square root because this is half to the power of minus 1. That gives me minus half. So it comes in the denominator as 30t whole square plus 
170 minus 40 t whole square, right? In the numerator, we get derivative of this function, which is 2 times 30 t times derivative of inside function, which is 30 plus. This will be 2 times, I mean, 170 minus 40 t times derivative of inside function, which is minus 40. Correct. So that is what you get. Now what we need to find is rate of change of this distance when time is 4. So we can actually simplify this a bit, dividing this 2 by these numbers. 2 gets cancelled. So what we get here is as equal to 30 times 30 is 900 t. This minus makes this minus. So we have, let me write this as 40 times 170 minus 40 t itself. We can use calculator later to calculate all this. Uh, square root of 30 t whole square plus 170 minus 40 t whole square, correct? So that is dx dt. Now we need to find rate of change of this distance when time t equals to 4, right? So we substitute 4 here to find the answer. So we have 900 times 4 minus 40 times 170 minus 40 times 4, right? Divided by square root of 30 times 4 whole square minus 170 minus 40 times 4 whole square square root. Okay. Now let's use the calculator to calculate this value. So in the numerator, we have 900 times 4 minus, okay, so I need to open this bracket also. So minus, I'll say 40 within brackets, 170 minus 40 times 4 bracket close. So that's the numerator, is 3200. We'll divide this 3200 by all this, which is square root of, uh, let me write in brackets, 30 times 4 square minus, within brackets, 170 minus 40 times 4 within brackets square, right? Now that is equal to the answer, which is, which is equals to uh, 26.759, right? So that's what we get. And the units will be, since they're moving at kilometers per hour, so kilometers per hour, right? So that becomes the answer for the given question, right? We can redo the calculations just to check. So let's redo and just check our answer. We have 900 times four minus 40 times 170 minus 4 times 4 is 16, 160, that is 10, right? So 10 equals to 3200, that's correct. Uh, divided by within square root, we have 120 square minus 170 minus 160 is 10, so minus 10 square, I'm sorry. Okay, this was plus, so that's my mistake. I wrote minus. I should have written plus here. Okay, that's good. We found a mistake here. So we have plus here, plus uh, 10 square. Okay, 10 square. And uh, that is equal to uh, some number. In decimals, it gives you 26.57. So it is not really 26.75. It is 26.57 since uh, we wrote negative earlier. It is positive, right? So, so that is the answer for us. So we'll go with this for the time being. You can always recalculate and check. But I hope the method is clearly understood, right? So we have our answer as 26.57 kilometers per hour is the rate of change of distance at 4 p.m., right? That's how you can answer this question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.